For most of her life, Robin Light has had a paintbrush in hand. I've been painting since I was little. My grandmother was a self-taught watercolor painter and she taught me. Now, the Edmonton-based artist is a professional painter. Since moving to the city, Light has spent plenty of time at the Art Gallery of Alberta. It was one of my first stops and when they reopened however many years ago, I was right there. That reopening was back in 2010 when the gallery moved into its redeveloped home at Churchill Square. The space is a long way from the gallery's humble beginnings back in 1924. Our first exhibitions were actually at the Hotel McDonald. We didn't have a building right back then and we had an exhibition once a year at the hotel. Much has changed since then as the gallery celebrates its 100th anniversary. So I've seen it go from the old Edmonton Art Gallery to this new building involved in the construction and I have to say it's a true testament I think to the people that made that happen. What's remained constant is the space for Albertans to enjoy art. When you think about paintings which have been happening for thousands of years, uh, the Art Gallery of Alberta is, is a little newer to the race, but Alberta does have like a thriving arts community. For Patrick Ennis, the gallery is a source of inspiration. I like to see what they look like up close, how the brush strokes were. It holds similar meaning for light. I love to come down and sketch and see all the exhibits that they've got, and I love that they promote local arts this way. A mission executive director Catherine Croston plans on continuing into the gallery's second century. Our future is about engaging with people more in the city, around the province, and creating partnerships to really sustain the arts for the next hundred years. Eric Bay, Global News.